welcome back to my channel my name is Philimi if it's your first time coming across my channel you're welcome if you're a returning viewer you're welcome and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel it just helps this channel grow it triggers the YouTube algorithm you know send more people this way <laughs> so yeah please subscribe do like the video if you like it share comment engage with the video down below so today's another sewing tutorial and I'm really excited for this one because like I've been seeing it everywhere and if you're on Instagram or on social media I'm sure you've been seeing that maxi skirts not just maxi skirts tiered maxi skirts are in like I'm seeing it everywhere and I want one for myself like I remember I used to love that style um, back in the day but now it's back and I really want to make more for myself and the fabric I'm gonna be using today for my tiered skirt is this beautiful floral um Ankara it's from Holland Text yeah and I featured this in my Ankara haul video back in March and I'm just excited I'm getting to use it now so do check out that video where I showed you all the Ankara I have okay? and I'm going to be making a top matching top for it but not in this video in another video so stay tuned for that it's gonna be another beautiful top like I'm ready for the summer but it's cold right here in Johannesburg so <sighs> just have to gonna wait so uh, I'm gonna show you so all the materials we need are the same things guys your sewing machine your thread your measuring tape your ruler Interfacing yeah, the usual so I'm not gonna go through all the materials You know what you need to sew so let's get right into it and yeah <laughs> enjoy the video and follow me on Instagram at Pelums.secrets What else? Let's get sewing guys <laughs> So I've drawn an illustration of how the skirt is going to look like. Let's zoom in. Okay, so I have four pieces, including the waistband. So the waistband is going to be uh, my waist circumference plus two inches. Yeah. So I'm going to have two pieces of each tier. The waistband, for example, is 30 inches plus two inches, and it's going to be 4.5 inches tall. And the first tier is my waist circumference times 1.75 inches divided by two. So that's gonna give me the measurement for one panel. I'm gonna times that by two. So I'm gonna have two of each panels, of each tiers, if I may say that. Uh, and it's gonna be 10 inches long or tall. And then the second tier is gonna be 13 inches tall. And it's going to be my waist circumference times 2.5 inches divided by two to give me the measurement for one panel or for one side. So it's going to be two panels. Um, and then the third tier is going to be 16 inches tall. And the width or the length is going to be my waist circumference times 3.5 inches divided by two to give me the measurement of one panel. Yeah. Okay. Ignore my socks. <laughs> I'm about to start cutting and I like that the stripes in the background I like the stripes in the background let me put it that way and I want the middle tier instead of going um, horizontally I want it to go vertically so the top tier would be horizontal and the middle tier would be vertical and the third tier, tier would be um, horizontal as well so I'm gonna cut out the middle the second tier first which is gonna go Horizontally, and so because my fabric is 45 um, inches width, I'm going to cut out two panels of 13 inches and then join it together to create the width that I need for the second tier. I hope that makes sense. So, 13 inches where's my long ruler? I'm cutting on the floor because it's, it's easier. I'm done cutting the pieces for my tiered skirt I don't see that changing the direction of the stripes made any difference but maybe when the skirt is done and it's all flowing together we'll see but this is it guys all I'm gonna do now is join 
the panels together on the side and then finish all the raw edges with a zigzag stitch and then what next then I gather it and sew it up together it's very simple guys and I'm also going to interface my waistband with fusible interfacing and yeah <laughs> that's it I can't wait to be done with the skirt to see how it looks so what I've done so far is to join the tiers together on the side so place it right sides together straight stitch and then I finished the row edges with a zigzag stitch and pressed it that's what I've done and then I also interfaced my waistband folded it over and pressed it so what I'm gonna do now is to gather all my tears together so I'm just gonna start doing the gathering now okay so I'm gonna set my stitch to, to the longest stitch and to the loosest tension for gathering So what I've done for all tiered pieces or panels is to sew a basting stitch at the top of each one and I'm just gonna gather that. So the first for the first panel I'm gonna gather it to the length of my waistband which is 31 inches that's 30 inches for the circumference of my waist and one inch for similar ones. So I'm just gonna gather take one piece of thread here pull this out and I'm gonna use this piece of thread to gather step is to attach the waistband to this bit so first thing to do is go on this side okay place it right sides together and pin I'm dumping in the first tier to the waistband and I'm just going to join together with a straight stitch add half an inch similar ones. So the next thing to do would be to join the second tier to the first tier but I'm just going to measure the bottom of the first tier just so I can have an accurate measurement of what I should gather the second tier to. Six inches, so I'm gonna gather the second tier to 56 inches and I'm just gonna follow the same process for the third tier as well. And then when I do that, it'll be time to attach the zip. And I'll show you how I do that. <sighs> this is the stressful part of this dress. It's gathering and pinning everything together. I'm trying to spread the gathers evenly so that some parts are not gathered and then some parts are just like straight up just fabric. Uh, it's gonna take a long time.
Okay, so after sewing up the zip and the waistband, this is how it is inside and you cannot see the stitch outside because I stitched inside the ditch. Ah, so I'm going to close up my skirt, turn it right, I mean wrong side out and yeah, just match up the seams of the tears. And so with a straight stitch all the way down to close it up and then I'm gonna hem my skirt and <laughs> it's done it's really simple it's just that it takes a long time to just do the gathering and everything so yeah so I'm gonna do I'm just gonna make sure that all the tears match up so like no seam is out of place guys I'm done in my skirt I really love it <laughs> here is it I mean I really love that I made this one vertical I mean horizontal and this one vertical I think it does make it distinct it does make it distinct it's not like oh I don't know otherwise it would have just been flowers flowers everywhere so I do like that I changed the direction of the pattern so this is it I hope you found the video helpful and you're gonna make a tiered skirt of your own if you do follow my tutorial do share with me on Instagram at balloons.secrets and yeah let me know how it went this is it I love it the zip is at the side the invisible zip I wish this pattern did match, but anyways, it's okay. This is it. It's perfect fullness, perfect length. I wish it had a pocket though. I wish I had a pocket. Love is so nice. Oh, is it late to add a pocket? I don't know. Maybe I would loosen this in another pocket. It's easy to add a pocket, but I will consider that. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about the video, recommend future videos, um, recommend future video ideas, share the video, I said that already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>